Good morning, friends. Greetings. Welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being into addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy. I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure, because the human biological system is a healing system, a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, and while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are your go-to resource for helping clear up the confusion in the world of nutrition and health. 844-236-6010 is our number. 844-236-6010. If you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have a, a comment or you want to comment, uh, contribute to the conversation or if you have a success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. And of course, if you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program or join the Bright Side Ben team, you can call the Brightside Ben phone team for a one-time $25 fee. You can start yourself a longevity business, 866-735-2470 is their number. You can also head over to my website, brightsideben.com, or my blog, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com. We update re both regularly with news stories and blog posts. You can sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the website, or you can also Purchase all the longevity products, any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program right off the websites. And if you're interested in checking out our skin health products, go to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. We also blog skin health information at truthtreatments.com. And also, if you want to uh, like my Facebook page, that would be great. The Truth with Ben, which we update regularly as well with blog posts as well as D DIYs, do-it-yourself tips on skincare. Okay, we were talking about vitamin E and about the blood sugar system. Um, yesterday we said sensitizing the body to insulin is job number one if you're dealing with any of the signs of metabolic syndrome. Metabolic syndrome involves heart disease and uh, blood pressure problems and blood clotting issues and skin issues and kidney disease and pretty much, you know, they limit it to certain things, metabolic syndrome, basically circulatory health issues, but, you know, pretty much anything that goes wrong in the body is going to have a blood sugar or insulin component. Metabolic syndrome or syndrome X as some people call it is a insulin resistance disease. The body stops listening to insulin. And this is what resensitizing the uh, cells to insulin is all about. And you do it through caloric restriction and fasting and also through nutritional supplementation. After digestive health, that's always the first thing. That's always the first thing to work on is the microbiome. If you want to really do one single thing, it's the microbiome, which is the universe of bacteria that live in our gut. And it should come as no surprise that this universe of bacteria that live in the gut affect blood sugar. This is the connection between point one and point two on the triangle of disease. When digestive health issues become, when digestive health issues accrue, when the digestive system becomes impaired, over time we don't process energy as effectively. Energy comes from food, macro and micronutrition. But when the digestive system is messed up, we don't get energy. And this is where blood sugar problems begin. This is the link between the, the, the digestive system and the blood sugar system. And even you know, while we isolate these points on the triangle of disease, it's really one single screw up, basically. I hate breaking things up, but just for, for, to understand what's happening, that's why we do it. But really, you work on everything together. You work on the blood sugar system, you supplement, you work on your digestive system, all of this stuff. Drugs 
have no place in this equation. Your doctor, I'm sorry to say, has no place in this equation. This is about us. From a, a nutritional standpoint, a, a breathing standpoint, a digestive health standpoint, a blood sugar standpoint, these are all aspects of, these are all ways that we can modify our health ourselves. So the triangle of disease is three points. Your blood sugar, your digestive system, your blood sugar system, and then what I call uh, the adrenal thyroid complex. And that's it for all degenerative disease. This is where all degenerative diseases, whether you're talking about like cancer or autoimmunity or heart disease or, or, or any long-term chronic degenerative disease that you're going to go to a specialist for, originates from the digestive system, the blood sugar system, and the adrenal thyroid complex. And the simplicity of this model, it is simple. It's just three points. This, the ease of applying these ideas is nothing you're going to hear from the medical model and the vast majority of its representatives. It's drones. Drones slash doctors. Not all, of the, not all doctors are drones. Many of them are. But some of them are you're hip to this stuff because it works. Because it's common sense. You take out the bad stuff, you put in the good stuff, and that doesn't include anything in the medical model's formulary. I was listening to this guy on TED today, this morning. Uh, TED is a, most of you guys probably know what TED is. If you don't, Google it. There's really lots of cool information on TED. Technology, uh, Environment, and Design, I think it's what it stands for. And they've got all kinds of visionary uh, spokespeople and representatives talking about the future and talking about health and talking about finances and really talking about a lot of cool stuff, how to live life, really. Anyway, they got this doctor on. And... Uh, the, the headline, the subject was, new medicine doesn't have pills or doesn't use pharmacology. So of course, that got my attention. So I'm listening to this guy. He's a doctor, of course, and, and he's a prophet, apparently, because he knows about how drugs don't work. And he s says things like, his point is, uh, uh, antibiotics worked. And ever since the age of antibiotics, we've been trying to duplicate their success with drugs, and they don't work. And so, you know, he's right on. That's what we talk about here every day. But then I heard him pivot to his solution. It wasn't about nutrition. It wasn't about the digestive system. It wasn't about blood sugar. He's, he rips into the medical model as it is in terms of drugs, but then he goes into this thing called stem cells, which is the latest drug-like strategy of the medical model. Stem cells make anything. You think of stem cells as, they call them pluripotent. A stem cell can make anything. You can take a stem cell from your tongue and you can turn it into bone. You can turn it into muscle. You can turn it, you can take a stem cell from your skin and this is, they do a lot of skin stem cells and you can turn it into anything. A stem cell is a magical cell. It can become anything and doctors love this. The medical model loves this because their, th their theory is, their thinking is you can give people stem cells and somehow direct the stem cells to the cartilage and you'll make more cartilage or direct the stem cell to your heart. You'll make more heart, heart muscle. Or redirect stem cells to your bone, you make more bones. This is the latest thing. It, but really, at the end of the day, it's just more high-tech. It's high-tech pharmacology. It's more things that you take to correct God's mistakes. Because we're smarter. To correct the way the body is showing up, because we're much smarter than the body. This is what the medical model is about. This is what technocracy is about. This is how our world is moving. Some of you may have heard of this thing called transhumanism. Transhumanism is the idea that we're going to make human beings from a combination of live mat living material and computer chips. and these are, This is the new humanity because the way it is is not good enough. The body's screwed up. It gets sick. So this guy is talking about how you're going to take stem cells. Nothing about the digestive system. Nothing about absorption, malabsorption, sugar, respiration, ventilation. Why don't you hear about these things? You know why? Because once we understand our complicity and the way we participate in our disease process and the simple little things that we have to do, the very simple things like breathing and taking hot showers and supplementing and eating correctly, the very little simple things we need to do to access the body's magnificent, magnificent, powerful, restoring and healing and renewing properties, there's not going to be, there's going to, not going to be a lot of need for doctors. You're going to have a lot of unemployed doctors. You're going to have doctors uh, working in laundromats delivering pizzas, doing something practical for us. And obviously they're creating jobs for themselves. You can't get a stem cell. How are you going to get yourself stem cells? How are you going to take stem cells? You can't do that. You got to go to the doctor to do that. But you can do nutritional supplements. You can get on a rebounder. You can stabilize your blood sugar. You can breathe. These are all things that we could do ourselves. And that's the point. That's the power of the bright side philosophy. We'll, we'll be back with more good health information right after. 
for listening to GCN. Be sure to visit GCNlive.com today. Okay, we are back on the bright side. I am Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lots of lines open for you. We'll get your calls at the bottom of the hour. And uh, if I don't get calls, I'll just uh, start reading some letters because i got a lot of good letters, interesting letters from Dr. Glidden's appearance on Coast to Coast a couple days ago, a couple nights ago. I didn't get to listen to it yet, but I know he said something because I got all kinds of mail. We got all kinds of mail, I should say, criticalhealthnews.com. Okay, if you're interested in purchasing any of the longevity products, please go to criticalhealthnews.com or brightsideben.com or pharmacistben.com. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the website. We are talking metabolic syndrome and blood sugar and insulin. And if you had to pick one thing that we're screwing up really fast, and we've been screwing up really fast over the last couple hundred years, it's our ability to extract sweets and sugars from, from, uh, from uh, foods, even Produce has been, has been genetically modified to be extra sweet. Our sweet taste has become, uh, we, has become dumbed down. It takes a lot more sweet for us to get the sweet high, the sweet flavor, the sweet taste. And that's why stopping sweets for a couple of days is really a cool idea. Very simple to do. And by sweets, I'm talking bread and pasta and potatoes in addition to desserts and fruits and fruit juices and those kinds of foods. Just the sweet taste alone is enough to activate blood sugar chemistry. Just the sweet taste alone, and that means diet Cokes and diet, you know, diet foods that have artificial sweeteners. Just the sweet taste alone will turn on blood sugar chemistry. It will turn on insulin. It will make us less sensitive or make our blood sugar system less sensitive to, to sugar. It will dumb down or dull our sugar responses. And this is where the problem comes from. So restoring insulin sensitivity is a master key along with digestive health. In fact, if you want to really, really simplify health, just eliminate the third point on the triangle of disease, the thyroid adrenal complex, and just work on your digestive system and on your blood sugar system. And I'm telling you, there's not a single health challenge that's not going to improve. If you just do those two things, just those two points, resensitizing cells to insulin is one of the simplest, easiest, cheapest things you could do. You'll save money. That means caloric restriction, restricting the calories that we eat. Calories represent heat. They represent work. Yes, they're a form of energy, but it takes work for the body to process protein, fat, and carbohydrates. So restricting your intake of these calorie foods or calorie food substances, protein, fats, and carbohydrates, is a great way to res resensitize your, uh, your blood sugar system, your insulin response, your blood sugar response system, insulin. And... At the same time that you restrict or lower calorie intake, you make sure you're pounding the micronutrients. This is a very important distinction that we don't make a lot of the times. Macro from micro. Macronutrition, micronutrition. Macronutrition represents work. Micronutrition, vitamins, minerals, essential fatty acids, essential amino acids. They're called the mighty 90 essential nutrients. These are micronutrients, not only don't require work really, perhaps a little bit, but not really, not significantly, certainly, certainly not like macronutrients, but they actually contribute energy. They contribute work with little cost. There's no calories to micronutrients, so there's not a lot of processing that has to take place, like with protein, fats, and carbohydrates. You don't have to digest them. You don't have to break them down. They go right to work. This is why the BTT, the Beyond Tang Tangy Tangerine, is such a spectacular product. This is why it works so fast. This is why it's almost like a nutritional supplement panacea. It's not a multiple vitamin. You're going to, not going to get absolutely everything you need in the right amounts, but because it's liquid, micronutrients, boom, they go right through the intestine into the blood. No digestion required. They go right to work, and they help the body process proteins, fats, and carbs. So restricting the macronutrients while you optimize the micronutrients, that's called the Cron diet, C-R-O-N, calorie restriction, optimum nutrition, is a great way to resensitize the body's insulin response particularly eat, uh, water-soluble vitamins or water-soluble micronutrients. That's another very important distinction, the water-soluble from fat-soluble distinction. you got the macro-micronutrient distinction, and then you got the fat-soluble, uh, water-soluble distinction. We spend a lot of time now, we're going to spend more uh, talking fat-soluble nutrients because they're so important for skin, but the water-soluble ones, that's your B-complex, your 
electrolytes and vitamins.